Hello there and welcome to this tutorial. I thought it'd be time for some intermediate uh, action again. So here we are. Today we're going to make a spleen script game. You know for those old multiplayer games like Crash Team Racing, you just said. Um, also those old James Bond games, you know, all sorts of games use a split screen. And I'm going to show you how you can make it in-game here. And it's actually really, really easy. We need two sprites here. Uh, always a wall. Let's just roll them really quickly. Uh, a wall, and then we need a ball. So let's just create the wall. Just an empty object with the wall. And let's go ahead and make a room that is quite big. Let's set it 2000, 2000. Not 200, 200, 2000, 2000 and go ahead and place some walls in it. You can just do whatever you want. I'm just going, doing something really, really quick here. There we go. And go ahead and create object ball one. That is player one. And player one needs to control to with uh, the keys. Uh, so we say key up equals vk up key down equals vk down key left equals vk left and key right equals vk right so we can see here we assign variables for all of the keys this stands for virtual key so whenever I was pressed with this little fire so we go ahead and add a step event and we say if keyboard check this will check if the key is pressed and we say key up so if key up is pressed and the place is free where the place is free that is x y minus minus uh, 4 we want to move with a speed of 4 then we can move up y minus minus equals 4 uh, move down move of course this needs to be plus instead of minus here move left here you just do it with the x instead and say x minus equals 4 and as it was here you say right if the place is free then x plus 4 and x plus equals 1. So this is, we'll first check if there's a wall at the position we're moving towards and if there are we don't move. If the place is free then we move. So then we need to make the walls solid. And the reason why I put these keys into variables is this because now that we can move a ball let me just put it in here and show it to you. You see that we can move it and it will stop when whenever there's a wall near it. Like that. Um, so if we make ball 2, object ball 2, we don't need to write all the code again. We can simply just make it a parent of object ball 1. And then instead, we just put in the create event here and we say key up equals ord. Uh, this will convert a letter or a char to a, a, a virtual key. So down equals ord s key left equals ord a and key right equals ord d. Like that. So now we've already coded it because all of the other events will come from the other ball here. The step event will already be there. That is pretty smart. Um, so we can just test it by putting in the other ball and see if they move in like different ways. You see, this is the one ball, this is the other one. And they can move just like they want. Yep. So what we need to do here is to make the make two views one for the ball and one for the other ball and how we do that is we go to the room we set up a view 
and we want the view in the room to be 640 for 80 like that and then we need to to enable it with another view to here 640 480 like that and then we need to make it the same size on the screen 640 480 640 480 this here is if you want to zoom in or zoom out for example if I if I put a bigger size than the view in the room on the screen if the window is bigger than that then we will zoom in uh, but we don't want to zoom in we just want to set it like that also one of the views uh, needs to be 640 off because then it will one view will be here and the other view will be on the other side of the screen so they are next to each other and that's exactly what we want and we want view 0 here to follow our first ball with the just put 200, 200, 200, 200 that, that works somehow good 200, 200, 200, 200 like that with both balls yep and since the, uh, the width of the view is 640 we need to make the size of the room the double as that so 640 times 2 that equals 1280 1280 hang on that's not true no I think this would work let's just try and see what happens here yep it does you see we have this ball here and the camera will follow only one of the balls so there's this split on the screen you see they are independent the views but what would be cool here is to have a line in between these so that uh, we can see where the view splits and we'll do that in an object called object GUI uh, which will draw a GUI event which will draw it directly on the screen and not along to the view so we will draw a line with a width of 2 but from the position called 640 to uh, from 640 zero to 640 um, view h view Zero. So that's the height of the view, basically. Um, and the width of line is to be 3. We can also draw some text at um, 3232, where it says player 1. And we can draw a text on the other side of the screen uh, at 640 plus 32 and 32 that says player 2. Let's see what happens if we put this object in here. Object guy, like that. Runs the game, and you see, you'll see where the play one and the play two is, and there is a nice line between them. So, congratulations! We've learned how to do split screen. It's actually really, really easy. If you got confused somehow in the tutorial, I will uh, put the the files that were were. Uh, the project file and the, the ball and the wall and the code and all that stuff inside of the description also it would be very very great for me if you left a comment uh, also just tell if you have anything bad to say uh, I'll try to um, make my tutorials better and better since I'm brand, uh, pretty new on YouTube also if you have any requests I'm more than happy to do them for example if you need me to do a tower defense game there was a guy who was asking about that Please let me know and I'll do it. Thank you for watching.